Hi there, Jess in the Rada Kitchen. Thanks for joining me. Today we are going to make a three-part meal using our leftover Thanksgiving feast. We're going to start with a creamy roasted root vegetable soup. Follow that up with our shrimp croquettes made out of our leftover stuffing. And then a turkey avocado salad with shaved Brussels sprouts and cranberries. We're gonna to start today with our soup. So we are going to liquefy all of our ingredients in my blender. You could use a food processor, you could use an emulsifying blender as well. I'm gonna put two cups of chicken or veggie broth in. And then I have some leftover roasted carrots, roasted sweet potatoes, and butternut squash that we are going to use in our soup. You can use any combination of vegetables that you like. And I'm just gonna do a little bit at a time so that I make sure that they all get nice and creamy in the blender. So we're gonna add some more of our vegetables and then go ahead and puree that as well. So I'm adding some more chicken broth and we're just gonna keep layering back and forth the broth and then the vegetables. You're gonna end up using about a quart of chicken broth total and approximately three cups of vegetables, um, as much as you have left over. All right, so you can see my soup is nice and thick at this point, and that's how we want it because we're gonna transfer to the stove to our pot and we're gonna add some half and half or some cream or even coconut milk if you want a vegan version of this. So adding our soup to our pan or our pot. Now my vegetables already had some seasoning on them with some cinnamon and some nutmeg, so you could add that in at this point if you haven't had them seasoned yet. Let's get all that goodness in here. And to that, we're going to add some sea salt, some pepper, and a little bit of curry powder. About a fourth of a teaspoon to start. And give it a stir. All right, just to make our soup a little creamier, I am adding one cup of half and half to this. And we're gonna let that simmer on medium low. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start on our shrimp croquettes. So I have some leftover shrimp from our shrimp cocktail. It's already cooked. We're gonna set that aside. You want uh, about three fourths of a pound or so. And my leftover stuffing, cornbread stuffing would be fabulous in this, but use whatever you have on hand. And then we are going to add to this uh, just a few vegetables that we're gonna saute in the pan. So first let's chop half of a red bell pepper. And you want this um, in small pieces so that it will blend nicely into our batter that we make. So two socks of celery. And then again, thinly minced. Okay, so my pan is nice and hot here. We're just gonna sweat our red bell pepper and our celery with a little bit of garlic. So now we're gonna chop up some of our green onions. All right, let's chop up our shrimp. Looks good. A little bit more. So here we have our veggies that I pulled off the stove. We're gonna put those in our bowl. Don't drop it. There we go. 
Okay, to that, let's get our shrimp in. Those chopped green onions. And then about a cup or so of our stuffing. You could add crab to this, that would be delicious. If you had some leftover salmon or whitefish flaked in here would be great. Maybe a little bit more than a cup, cup and a half. Okay, to this I'm adding half a cup of Parmesan cheese and a fourth a cup of mayonnaise. So now we're gonna go ahead and chop our parsley. Okay, so we are ready to mix up our filling. I'm going to add in that parsley. Add one egg. And to this, some seafood seasoning. Maybe half a teaspoon or so. And give it a mix. All right, so let's go ahead and assemble these. We're just going to take a scoop of that shrimp mixture, roll it on up, give it a dunk in our panko breadcrumbs so it's nice and crispy, and then on to our baking sheet. Okay, so we are ready to pop these guys in the oven. I'm just going to spray it with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, crisp up that panko, and in a 425 degree oven until it's nice and crispy. So we're gonna start with the dressing component of our turkey salad. And I have two or three avocados here depending on their size. Just gonna go around the pit. Pop it out. Score that flesh. And then scoop it with a spoon. So to our avocado, I'm gonna add some fresh lemon juice. And then a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. And you could use either Greek yogurt or mayonnaise. And about a fourth a cup. And we're just going to mash all that together. So we are going to very thinly slice or you could shave these raw Brussels sprouts. These are delicious this way. They're nice and crunchy and they're super fresh. So we're gonna take those shaved Brussels sprouts and just toss them in. To this, I'm going to add some dried cranberries. I love these, so I'm gonna probably add a little bit more. Uh, fourth of a cup, half a cup or so. And for some more crunch, chopped pecans. About the same amount that we did the cranberries. And we're ready for our turkey. All right, so I'm just going to break apart my roasted turkey that I have left over. salt and pepper this. If you like yours to be creamier, you can always adjust the Greek yogurt or add some more avocado or mayonnaise to your liking and give it a stir. So 
So just a really simple dipping sauce that's gonna double as a spread for our sandwich also. I have some leftover cranberry sauce. This is the whole berry kind. Both would work. To this I'm adding some olive oil mayonnaise. Two to three tablespoons. And then for some optional heat, a squirt of sriracha. And a little bit of Cajun seasoning and give it a stir. So we are ready to bring this dinner on home. The first thing we're going to do is to dish up our delicious soup. And it's super creamy, has beautiful golden color. You could top this off. I'm gonna to top it with a little bit of parsley, but you could also put some bacon on here, would be delicious, or just a little bit more nutmeg or toasted pecans. Set that down. Here we have our shrimp co croquettes, and these are all crispy, 20 minutes in the oven, and then we can serve those with a little bit of that cranberry, little bit of a spicy cranberry sauce on the side. And then lastly, you could dish this up all by itself, this is our cranberry avocado turkey salad with the shaved Brussels sprouts. But since it's the holidays and we're being super decadent, we are going to finish this off with that cranberry sauce. And I'm just using sourdough bread here. A few slices of creamy brie cheese, which is one of my favorites. All right, and switch that bread out. That crunchy avocado turkey salad. You could even grill this if you wanted to. A little bit more there. One more. And let's see if we can smush that all together. So we are ready to dig into our after Thanksgiving feast. Thank you so much for joining us today. Be sure to check us out at ratedcutlery.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more great and easy recipes just like this one.